If you were to develop a list of the most popular or most famous desserts that exist, I would say cheesecake is definitely on that list. It's rich, it's creamy, and you can top it with all kinds of fun stuff. So today we're going to make a strawberry cheesecake. It's a twist on the classic New York cheesecake, but we're smothering the top with glazed strawberries. So join me and let's make strawberry cheesecake. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our graham cracker crust. So I have my Breville food processor here. Just get out any large uh, food processor. Um, I have 12 graham crackers. We're just gonna put those in here. And this is a pretty standard way to make uh, a graham cracker crust. We're gonna put the lid back on and we're just gonna pulse to make these crumbs. Woo! Sweet. So I'm gonna put in a quarter cup of sugar. Pulse that to give it a mix. Then I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put a pinch of salt in here. That's just my little thing. And I'm gonna put in a third of a cup of melted butter. Yeah, right? <laughs> this is gonna moisten our crumbs really nicely. Yeah. So let's get the springform pan. Okay, so we have our crumbs here. We're gonna go ahead and dump them into our pan here. A little sticky in here because they're got the butter. The butter. And we're gonna go ahead and form our crust. So to do so, we wanna do it kinda even. All right, and so I'm just going to level it out here. And I kind of want to press it on the side, so I'm just going to use this glass, and I'm going to press it to the side. We want the, cr uh, the crust to just come up barely on the bottom. We're not making like a back crust for it. Okay, so we have our oven preheated to 325. We're gonna put this in there for about 10 minutes and we'll be right back. So the crust is out of the oven and we put a rack, put it on a rack over there to cool. Um, so I have a stand mixer here and we're gonna go ahead and put in two pounds of softened Cream cheese. Mm hmm. How do you like that, Bill? Uh -huh. Mm hmm. We're going to give it a whirl real quick to get it nice and fluffy. <laughs> Woo! We're gonna put a cup and a half of sugar. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add three tablespoons of flour. We're gonna put in a teaspoon of vanilla. I also have a teaspoon of orange zest and a teaspoon of lemon zest. We're gonna go ahead and put that in. So 
So I have four eggs and one egg yolk. And we're gonna go ahead and put them in here like one egg at a time and beat it in between each one. scrape down so we know we got everything incorporated mm. and I also have a cup of sour cream I'm gonna go ahead and put that in mm-hmm what do you think about that, boo? Uh huh. A cup of sour cream. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> I forget that one way is a pulse. So let me get the crust in the spring form pan. Okay, so here's a crust we baked off before. And let me tell you, this filling looks beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and put our filling into the crust. Ooh, look at that. You need kind of a deep uh, pan for this. <laughs> wow, that is gorgeous. Okay, I'm just gonna spread this out real quick. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Looking real good. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in a 250 degree oven. It's a low oven. Ordinarily, you would do a water bath with one of these, but for some reason this cheesecake always does well for me in a really low oven. If you wanna do a water bath, just put a pan in there, put your cheesecake in there and put the water in. Make sure you wrap your, um, your springform pan in foil. I haven't had to do that with this recipe and it doesn't crack, but you never know, right? Even if it does crack, we're gonna be putting strawberries on the top so no one will even know right so it's going to be in the uh, 250 degree oven for quite a while we're going to start checking it at an hour but it could be an hour 15 could be a little longer than that it all depends on your oven and how the wind blows for that day right what you want to see is it's going to be set up it'll be set up but it'll be a little firmer around the edge, but the middle will be jiggly. So when you go like this, the middle will jiggle a little bit like jello. It will be set up, but I'll show you how that is when it comes out. So to the oven it goes. Okay, we've taken the um, cheesecake out and basically you want it set, but you want a little jiggly in the middle. So see how it, uh, it looks all set, but if you shake it, it's slightly jiggly in the middle. See how that is? And it doesn't look like it's a watery jiggly. Either. No, it's just like a jiggly. It ended up taking an hour and like 25 minutes. It will do that because we're cooking it at such low temperatures. If you want to do it faster, put it in a water bath and increase the temperature some. But we did it at 250 to try to prevent it from cracking at the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit and cool completely. Then we're gonna put some foil on it and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator, 
basically overnight. So it needs to set up like eight hours. Um, so we will do that and we will be back tomorrow to finish off the cheesecake. <laughs> All right, cooks, it's the next day. The cheesecake has been in the refrigerator overnight. It is totally and completely chilled. So now the big reveal. Do you think that there's a crack? Ooh, look at that. There's no crack in my cheesecake, right? Okay, now, so this is kind of a fun part. So we're going to use our pan here. With this pan, we're going to remove these side things. If you have a traditional buckle pan, you'll basically just undo the buckle. And we're going to be removing the sides. <gasps> Ooh! Now that, that is a beauty. Wow. This is amazing. Someone that is just learning to cook just made this cheesecake. Look at that. Can you believe that? That is amazing. I just want to sit here and stare at it all day. But we got to get this off of here and onto here. Okay, so I got a fish spatula here. And I'm just going to try to find the bottom. This is how I've done this in the past. I just slide it in here. <laughs> slide it in here. Anytime you make a cake, cheesecake, or something, there's always some kind of situation when you got to move the thing. Depan it, move it, whatever. If it's moving. You want to clean up the crumbs and stuff right now? Hold on. Hold on. Am I going for it? Am I going for it? Yeah! Okay, so we're going to finish this off. So we made a strawberry glaze. I'll put a link down in the description how you make this. It is so easy and it is absolutely fantastic. We also have some strawberries that I just cut into chunks and then I washed them and everything so they're ready to go. So I'm going to do a strawberry glaze drizzle on this and then we'll put the strawberries on top. So do you think I can be artistic with this? You ready, boo? Sure. Should I go the opposite way? You put it in the squeeze bottle, ooh, enables you to get the design on it. Look at that. That looks all kind of pretty. That looks all kinds of pretty, huh? Uh -huh. So how do you want to do the strawberries, boo? I don't know, a lot. A lot? Yeah, put a big old heap in the middle, I don't know. How should I put them in the middle? It's like Mount Everest. Mount Everest. Yeah, I pay good money for this cheesecake. I don't want to get shortchanged. What good money? Nothing? <laughs> I'm just going to put a small mound, and then you can put some on your individual piece. How's that? You want to glaze those guys too? Should I? Sure, should I love.
That'll make them shiny. Wow, look at that, boo. Now that's a cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. That is an amateur made this strawberry cheesecake, guys. I'm just, I'm blown away. I never would have thought a couple years ago that I could make anything like this. Anything like this. Can you believe this? Can you believe I made this? Wow. So we're going to have to cut it so Eric can take a taste. So I think I've stared at it long enough. I guess I have to cut it now. <laughs> I'm just going to give you a sliver. Ooh, nice and creamy. Ooh, the knife looks like it's very creamy. I cut you a big piece here, boo. Thank you, boo. I can't eat this, unfortunately, due to my dairy allergy. But Eric can, um, he can take it for the team, right? Uh, someone's got to. I've never had cheese to cake in my life, but I can tell you that's yum-tastic, guys. Mm -hmm. I'll have to admit, Amy outdid herself big time on this. Cheesecakes can be a lot of work, and um, I really give her congratulations. Yay! Yay! I'm proud of her. Okay, now taste is more important than anything, so go for it. Baby. So now that we got all the niceties out of the way, now for the part I've been waiting for. <laughs> so the cheesecake obviously has your usual, I don't know, deliciousness, you know, the cream cheese. She's got a little bit of the uh, lemon and orange zest in there. The um, strawberries are tart, but then the glaze is sweet and kind of offsets that. The cram cranberry, the graham cracker crust is just, it is what it is, right? Butter and all kinds of good stuff. Mm -hmm. So unlike some cheesecakes, which I think can be, I'm not going to say dry, but they're just so concentrated with the cream cheese that they can be kind of crumbly and stuff. This is really um, smooth, creamy, uh, but it does hold up as long as you keep it refrigerated. I'd be afraid if you left that all day, then wham, right? But right now, it's nice and cold, and it does a really good job. Um, I don't know. I can't think of anything pillowy. You know, and that's what some of the ingredients that we put in here are supposed to help with, right? We put sour cream, which is supposed to help with tartness a little bit, but it also helps, you know, undo some of the, um, what, the cream cheese can be kind of, um, I'm not going to say dry, but there's just something about it. But, um, mm-hmm. So I get a combination of the cheesecake, you know, all the cream cheese goodness and stuff. I get hit with the topping. And then for me, at least, the graham cracker crust is what hits me last. So it's kind of interesting how you have three different flavors in here. Well, more, but the different layers of flavor kind of hit you with different parts. So I definitely give it my thumbs up. 
So one of my strategies was to try to make a cheesecake and eliminate the water bath. And one of the things I did is I really lowered that oven temp down to 250 and it took a lot longer. It could take you an hour and 15, hour and 30. As thick as I made this cheesecake to get that cheesecake done, you just want it jiggly. Um, you don't want to overcook it because that keeps that soft texture. But if you wanted to speed up the process a little bit, you could do it in a water bath. Um, I think a gentle oven does a fantastic job. I've made this a couple times and I have yet to have it crack. So thumbs up on that. Um, so I think you're really going to enjoy this. You can cook it for summertime. You can cook it for holidays. If you took this to a um, potluck, you'd knock it out of the park. If you like this video, please subscribe below. Don't forget to hit that bell so you'll get notifications of our uploads. Also, visit our website at amylearnstocook.com and you can catch me on social media at facebook.com slash groups slash amylearnstocook. I'm in there almost every day talking about cooking, kitchen gadgets, appliances, and recipes, all that fun stuff. You can also catch me on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook and on Instagram, I'm at Cooking with Amy.